talk about the ball position for the basic chip and the basic pitch. So as in the full swing, I'm going to play this ball in the same position to my left foot. My swing on every shot, that's where my club hits the ground, ball then ground. So people say in a chip or pitch, move the ball back. However, they do it like this. It's not the right way. You need to keep that ball in the same position. And again, the width of your right foot is going to dictate where the ball position is. There's a full wedge, there's a pitch, and there's a chip. But the ball has not changed in relation to my left foot. It's just the width of the stance, which changes the appearance and changes where the sternum is in relation to the ball. So I get a different hit from the same ball position on every one. So keeping things constant right throughout the bag on every shot and every club is going to help our game improve and be more consistent. So the thing about golf is we're not going to hit every shot perfect. We're going to hit some bad ones, but we can have the recovery skills to make up for that. So let's start off talking about the basic chip and run and how we can save shots doing that. So what I would do, well, I'd first estimate how much grass I have in front of me and how much green I have to work with. So it's quite obvious that to be able to get that ball near that left flag there, I don't want to have to make a big swing and try and lob it that far. There's a lot more margin for error there. So what I would do is I'd look at a lower trajectory because that means it's a shorter swing. I don't have to make as big a swing. I just change my club. So what I would do is use a lower lofted club and visualize myself just throwing the ball there and letting it roll up and in. So club selection is critical in a chip and run and that's how you would save shots. The shorter the swing, the easier it is to control. Now I'm going to talk about the pitch shot and how we can get a proper strike to get the ball to go the right distance with the right amount of spin. So to play successful short game shots, it's very rhythmical action. It's not fast or hard. We're not trying to hit the ball hard. We're trying to hit at a specific distance. So I have a 25 yard shot here. I'm going to use my 20 yard swing with my 53 degrees wedge, hit the ball 20 yards. The proper motion spin will just let it release out the final five. So I'll just take my regular balance setup, my grip, my 20 yard swing is not going to feel like my hands go to about 8 o'clock, 8.15. Then I'm just going to turn through. So that time I carried it the perfect distance with the right amount of spin to get it close to the hole. These shots are all about distance, the accuracy will come. 